Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Messages of the Week. If you don't know me, my name is Jasmine. I have been reading tarot for over 20 years. And this is my familiar, Zell. You might see him around, kicking around in my videos. He's a very, like, energetic cat. So we are taking a look at this week's messages. Down below I've got <laughs> pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Oh, Zell, what are you doing? So it's up to you to pick your pile. So one, two, three, four. And he's just gonna lay down, yeah. <laughs> Feed off the energy. Hum, hum, hum. Okay, so we'll just move that out of the way of my cat. <laughs> one, two, three, four. If you need more time, just pause, take a look, take a feel, you know, zoom in, hone in. And remember that with collective messages, there might be also a little bit of uh, a message as we go along through each message. So there might be a little bit of something that might also pertain to your situation as well. Zellifer. Oh my goodness. Kitty! Kitty! Out of the way, kitty. All right. Um... So this is pile one. Oh dear. Okay, so we're starting off with the moon in reverse. Okay, there is just something that isn't revealing itself yet. Okay, or you're kind of stuck in this kind of illusion um, and not seeing the clear truth. Okay, um, there's this sense of like anxiety a little bit because of trying to find the correct answers or trying to find the answers that you have been looking for for a while but with the sun in reverse okay that's also saying that maybe to leave some of those answers alone okay just because the fact that with the sun in reverse it's suggesting that maybe you are too passionate in pursuing this okay and it's going to lead to burnout so instead of worrying away about unveiling this truth, right? Maybe you just go with the flow instead. So on to pile number two. What we got here? Oh, wait, no, it'll be like this, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have the three of swords coming up, okay? Um, in reverse. This means that you're really kind of stuck. I feel like this is like part of you not letting go, all right? kind of stuck in the suffering and the sadness and the pain and the grief, okay? Perhaps you um, got out of a relationship or you lost someone close to you, okay? Um, however, with the lady in wait here, okay, I feel that there will be some type of news that's going to kind of like uplift you, okay? It's going to kind of uplift you out of that hole that you're in and what you're experiencing at the moment, okay? And this usually is a, a message or indication of success, okay? So perhaps this is, um, could be anything between like uh, a proposal, a uh, business venture, um, maybe some inheritance, okay? Maybe some kind of financial gain. Um, but usually this indicates that there's going to be success. So with this message coming through, I feel like whatever the message is or whatever is going to occur is going to help you come out of that kind of like deep pit, all right? And it's going to help you kind of progress and move forward, okay? Um, for all we know, this could be even a new kind of relationship, whether it be uh, platonic or romantic, okay? and that's gonna kind of get you moving forward, all right? So some kind of support there is what I'm picking up on, all right? Because um, they're showing me like hands, so grabbing hands. So there's someone there that's going to be kind of lifting you out and supporting you. Um, but there's also this little, this little tingle in me is saying that there is going to be some kind of un unexpected news besides the support to kind of lift you out of this kind of deep well, okay? Um, so just keep your eye out and just be mindful, yeah? All right, so we're going to go on to message three here. We have the page of swords in reverse, 
And we have the clasped hands in reverse. Alright, so... This could be you being a little bit stubborn in this situation, okay? Um, I wouldn't say arrogant, but being stubborn, all right? Um, and with the clasped hands, I think that it is a good idea to be stubborn in this situation because there is something that you need to take further assessment in. Um, so, for example, if you were to, say, buy a new car, right? Maybe you need to do a little shopping around first, uh, uh, giving them test drives to see which one works for you, okay? Um, same can be said with relationships too, right? Like, some relationships don't work out because of the fact that people can't see eye to eye or they don't mesh well, okay? But this case, you're very, very stubborn, and I think that whatever the the deal is on the table or this opportunity, okay, you have every right to be stubborn and every right to do a full assessment, okay? Um, make sure that you view all different sides of this situation, all right? I feel like this is something to do with some type of like partnership or something to do with the work. Um, with your work in particular. Uh, and there's like this frustration, frustration in here too. So it could be that um, your work isn't treating you right. You've been thinking about maybe either moving to like a, a new, new job opportunity. Just be mindful that when you do apply to these new jobs, okay, these new opportunities for yourself, all right, is to really kind of get an idea and a feel of these new employments um, because they might seem very nice and glittery, but there could be some sneaky business behind there too, right? So really assess those, those new employments um, and make sure that moving forward you pick the right one that is best suited for you right instead of just jumping right into it okay so just it's a it, this is a good thing like even though page of swords is like oh you're being stubborn you're being arrogant you don't want to move forward well you do want to move forward and yes you are being stubborn but in this case the stub stubbornness works for you not against you okay but just be mindful that your windows of opportunity may be very limited in the timing sense. So whatever assessments that you need to do, do them quickly, all right? I'm, I'm hoping this makes sense because it, it's making sense to me and it's morning, so I'm tired. Not really, I've had like maybe what, two coffees? I need a third one today, guys. All right, moving on to message four. Okay. We have strength coming through, and we have the harvest in reverse. All right, you're having a hard time letting go. Letting go of, I hear a person, okay? I feel like this person may have like gossiped about you or like, did something that wasn't, you know, on the up and up. You thought that you could trust them, okay? Because with the Harvest card, we're talking about making sure we're letting go of old, old things, okay? Because it's just going to hold us back and we won't be able to plant new crops and yada, 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 okay? So, you're going to have to dig in deep and find that strength okay find that strength and get rid of the old okay whether it be the relationship whether it be um your ideas or switching up your values or having to switch up boundaries okay but you're gonna have to let go okay so that way you can move forward and plant some new seeds that will be more successful for you um 
especially when it, in terms of finding the right circle for you when it comes to people, okay? It's hard because you have a lot of like trust issues, but this is where the boundaries come into play, okay? Make sure that you have your boundaries set and be determined in, in making these new connections. You'll find your people. Just don't make it so hard that they can't get to know you or access you or, you know what I mean? Because like when you put that wall right up, people are going to be driven away, right? It's one of those things, yeah, we can test people a little bit, but if you test them too much, they're not gonna stick around, right? Um, definitely start planting these new seeds soon. All right, when it comes to relationships as well as your own ideas and desires that you want to pursue, okay? I have a feeling that um, some of these desires did not turn out the way you were hoping for and it's so much as having to do like a restart or to plan differently around this, this desire that you're having, okay? but you definitely need to do a ref refresh. So cutting out all the old, so that way it's not weighing you down, so you can make progressive steps forward, okay? All right, all right, all right. So with that being said, we are now going to take the collective energy and see what the energy of this week looks like. Easy, Ali. <laughs> he's such a happy cat when it comes to like energy work and stuff he just chills with me he's just like chilling enjoying the vibe all right spirit what we got for the collective energy for this week for this week Collective energy. Yeah, I'll get your tail out of the way. Collective energy for this week, please. Tingle, tingle. Ooh, I like it. I like it, Picasso. All right. We've got happiness. It says, I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to explain that, right? If you're happy, you're passionate, you're driven, you're going the right direction, right? Pretty sure that's a straightforward message for y'all. Okay, so that is this week's messages. Um, stay tuned. If you're looking to book with me, I've got a few weeks to do bookings. So up until the 5th of July, I will continue to do readings, private sessions one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but then I am going to be traveling for a while. Um, and I won't be returning until until August 3rd. I'm giving myself an extra day just to recuperate from, from jet lag. So if you're looking to book a private session with me, send me a message through Twitter, through my Facebook group, or you can you know email me. Um, you can check out my website, www.jasminseternalcircle.com, um, and you can take a look at the services that I provide there as well. So, without any further ado, I wish you guys a wonderful week ahead, and stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the small things. Cheers. <laughs>